Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Envy Delaney in the color Honey Breeze. Honey Breeze is actually a relatively new color for Envy. They came out recently with 12 new colors. I was not aware of that. So when Name Brand Wigs asked if I would like to review this style and I was looking at colors, I was thrilled with all of the new colors. I'm gonna try to get my hands on some of them so I can show them to you. Today though, we'll look at Honey Breeze on this super cute shag that a lot of people apparently love based on the feedback I got on Instagram. So if you wanna know more about this style, then stick around and I will tell you all about her. So grateful to Name Brand Wigs for sending me this piece to share with all of you guys. When I did my unboxing for Instagram, I do a one minute quick unboxing that I voice over, which I'll try to remember to stick on the end of this video for those of you not on Instagram. I got so many comments from people saying how much they love Delaney. So many of you guys have worn Delaney. She was your go-to for the beginning of your wig journey or for the past year or I just I really heard from a lot of you saying how much you love Delaney which makes me even happier to show this to you guys because whenever I get a chance to show a beloved style it thrills me because that means more people will have a chance to love her so let's take a look at her from all sides. You can see she's got a very trendy, texturized, spiky cut on the bottom here. Such a fun casual style. As a matter of fact, that I, I specifically wore this shirt that today that I just recently cut the neck off a t-shirt because I wanted to showcase how fun and youthful and casual this style really is. It is super fun and it tucks so well. Um, just, just really awesome. So Delaney has a lace front and a full mono top. So you can part this one anywhere you want on the top, which is really great because sometimes those mono parts, they often come on the left side and not everybody parts their hair from the left to the right. So that's really awesome. Let's take a look at this lace front. There's the lace and you can see now this is a darker color with dark, it's dark rooting, I should say. And you can see some of those knots. But I think they did a couple of things really, really well. Number one, I think that they uh, made it a really realistic looking hairline. So they didn't heavily knot it there. That means you're going to have a really easy time putting a little bit of makeup on there to help hide the knotting if you need to. I don't think it looks terribly obvious, but some people are really sensitive to knotting. If you do a search on YouTube, Denise Sheets Pluck, I think is it what you would search. You can find a video I did where I show you how to pluck a hairline and pluck a lace front that may be too densely knotted, but I do show you how to put makeup on it as well, and that can be really helpful. So if you wanna learn how to dab a little makeup on a lace front, make it look more realistic, that video is for you. Another thing I noticed is I can really see this lace on my skin. I have uh, quite a tan right now, we're in the middle of summer, and so that sometimes happens with some brands. If you find that the lace shows on you, you can trim up that lace really easily, and I have a video showing you how to do that as well. Let's take a look at this cap. So you've got, like I said, lace front, full mono top, open ear tabs. So they don't have the velvet, the velvet, the nice soft ear tabs, they're open with lots of hair sewn on them, which really helps with coverage. Open extended nape, lots of air getting through there. The more open, that you have on a cap, the more holes with the wefting, with the openings, the more airflow gets in and the more heat can get out. So if you find wigs to be really hot, I think this one could be a good one for you because it's not a high density wig. It really doesn't have much in the way of permatease and it's got all of that ventilation. And then the adjusters on here are the bra strap or the pull adjusters. One tip for you guys, these can sometimes be tricky to get to stay. If you find that you're having trouble when you adjust your pull adjusters, you pull it 
it's just like a bra strap. You pull it, you adjust it, and then it wants to, the, to over time, open back up. Just to take a little stitch, a needle, a thread, just a quick little stitch around that metal will hold it in place for you. It doesn't take any sewing skills at all. Trust me, I can't sew, but that I can do. So if you ever have that trouble, just go ahead and, and do that. As far as the mono top goes, like I said, you can part it anywhere, but it is pretty densely knotted. So you really can't see the monofilament all that much on this one. So like I said, if you go watch that plucking video, I do show you how to pluck a uh, mono top. And I will do that with my wigs that I don't feel you can see the mono top that much or the monofilament so that it looks more like a natural part line. So go ahead and check that out if you find that to be the case for you. As for fit, this wig fits very true to average. I have a 22 inch circumference and it fits me pretty perfectly. I don't have it cinched in at all and it's very comfortable. Uh, and it's so basically I think if you're 22 to a 22 and a quarter because there is some good stretch here, you're going to be fine. Smaller than that, you do have room to cinch it in. I do get quite a bit of cap up here though, and I'm very petite over the top of my head. I don't feel like it's too much of a problem and it's not uncomfortable, but I definitely think that means it really does run more true to average. Envy wigs, in general, I think they run true to average. Sometimes I can find them to be a little snug on me, but this one definitely doesn't feel too snug. I think it feels pretty, pretty perfect as far as my measurements go, which I always include in the description, so you can go down below to the description to see what my measurements are. And as you can see, I've been tucking it. It tucks great. Again, that's going to depend on how it fits you. Because it fits me so well, I can tuck, but the ear tabs come down at the perfect place to give me great coverage. So here's my bio hair right here. And when I have this in place, you can barely see it. There's so much hair sewn in on these ear tabs that it really does a good job of hiding it. And because of the way this rooting has been done, it does blend with my hair really well. So if you um, are curious about that, well, again, compare your measurements to mine. As far as styling goes, I think this one would be so cute if you took some claw clips and put it up in the front. One thing I love to do, I've got a couple of claw clips right here. I'll just demonstrate briefly. I love to do little simple twists with a claw clip. I took some bigger ones and some, this one's got a color just so that you can see it better on camera. But what I would probably do is use much smaller claw clips than this. And then I just do a simple twist and then you kind of clip it into place and then you can do another twist right next to it and clip it into place and that can be such a fun youthful style getting the hair up off your face which it doesn't hang on your in your face too much but the thing is if it's really hot or really windy something like this will really help this to be a lot more comfortable so don't be afraid to play with your wigs it would also look super cute with a headband I just think it's really fun to play with. There isn't a lot of permatease, a lot of density, so it doesn't have a lot of volume, but they did do a good job of sewing the fibers in so that it does look a little bit voluminous. So if you get overwhelmed with wigs and you like them to be very flat and very sleek, this one does not look like that, especially with all the texturization. There is a tiny bit of permatease right here, but it's not poofy or pillowy. Let's talk about color. This color is beautiful. It is a, what I would consider a golden light brown. The rooting is, I would say a medium brown. It is very complementary to this color and it runs neutral to ashy. Sometimes rooting can be on the warm side. This is not a warm root. I don't see any red in this wig in any way, shape, or form. So what's great is they also diffused it a little bit by bringing some of these lighter colors all the way up to the rooting. So it really looks natural. This looks like an expensive salon job where you had darker hair and you had them lighten it and highlight it. Because they diffused some of this, it doesn't make it look like regrowth. It really looks up good and like you had your hair done. All through here, you've got a bunch of different kind of warmer, more caramely, golden highlights. I see caramel, I see a little bit of golden blonde, and some, I would say, light brown. To me, this color runs more on the light brown side of things. It's very, very uh, bright and golden, but it's not blonde. 
and like I said, I don't see any red, which is a question I get a lot. If you are used to dark brown, I am a naturally a dark brunette. Had I gotten this wig early in this color, I should say, early in my wig wearing journey, this would have felt I would have described it as too blonde for me because it's got so much golden caramel light brown for a dark brunette. It can feel really light. But I would not call this a blonde wig. And so if you're used to light browns, you like dynamic colors, you like some golden blonde, this could be a great color to try. It's really pretty. All right, you guys, let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Once again, thank you to Name Brand Wigs. I'm so appreciative of you guys, and I am so thrilled to be representing this wig on your behalf. If you have never shopped with Name Brand Wigs, I highly recommend that you check them out. They're a fabulous retailer. I just recently had the blessing of having a call with them to learn a little bit more about their customer service practices and their training, and I'm even more impressed with them than I was before. They are a faith-based company, and they're doing some good things for the wig community, so check them out. There is a link in the description to this, this wig. I get nothing from them if you purchase. Um, my payment in representing them is the wig, <laughs> but I don't get any kickbacks if you purchase from them. So just check them out if you'd like, but if you have a favorite retailer, do what you feel is best. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get outside. All right, here we are with this beautiful color outside. Let me make sure you can see it. It's just gorgeous. I'll get into some direct sunlight in a second. So you can see that rooting is not too dark. It's nice and complementary to this color. All right, let's get some sun on here. I can't see a darn thing, so let me move into the shade. All right, let's my camera adjust. It's super pretty. So if you're looking for a light brown, dynamic, looks like you had an expensive salon job, lots of really golden highlights, could be a good color for you. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, here we are with an unboxing of Envy Delaney in the color Honey Breeze, one of their newer colors that they've come out with recently. Delaney is a really cute, short, choppy style with a very deep lace front and a full monotop. She is a little interesting out of the box. <laughs> one of those where you just have to mess with it you have to shake it out you got to make it your own I'm so excited to review this one for you guys though this color is really cool definitely definitely a trendy cut there's that lace front there's that mono filament you can part it anywhere you want if you want to know more about this and see how she looks once I play around with her a little bit then Head over to YouTube and watch my video as soon as it's out, hopefully within the next week or so.